So since I'm out of money and gonna run out of money for the motor, I went ahead and bought a lift kit. That's the right thing to do, right? Three inch. It's, what? Three oh, inch. Four inch. Four inch, hey. hey. We got new shocks. We got uh, front springs back here for the front end. Taking the uh, bolts out of the bell housing today. Hopefully pulling the motor, right? Yeah, we're gonna get the motor out today. The best part of the lift is right here. It is a, I don't know how good you can see it. It's a oh, big old rough country rough sticker. Country. I'm thinking about doing it like this too, like everybody's doing now. Not sure why, but pretty badass. It, yeah, it does look good. Sticker on like rough country right here. Yeah. So. I like it, I like it. So after we get the motor out, we're gonna put the lift on. It'll be easy to get to everything under the front here. Especially with the motor out, good thinking. The bell housing bolt, that's what we're gonna get out today and they're gonna be, gonna be tough to get. We give it all we got today. We're, we're, we're getting the arsenal together right now. He's got his tools ready. Getting after it. Here's bolt number one. Both housing. There's three on each side. Crank all bones. Rods. Or front. They suck. Alright. Let's get after it. What size is that? Half in. They're usually 9 16 This one's half. I don't know why. Quarter. No tight. <laughs> well, good news is I've gotten three. I can't get to this one. Oh, nice. <laughs> Break the bar or something on the other side. Oh boy, Rocky! Let's not making this tight. Man, you excited? Ah, yes. This is, this is fine. Anything I'm forgetting here? Oh, I'm sure there's some. No, nah, I mean on the jet. Yeah. to come loose. I think it just needs a good wiggling. Good wiggling. Careful now. Get the flywheel. We can get the flywheel on. Alright, that's all you. 
I'm gonna hand you what you need. This is your uh, throw out bearing and that'll push against your pressure plate and clutch. And you push it yeah. in, it pushes yeah. this out yeah. and it stops it. And the throw out bearing, I'm not gonna change it. If it's working, I'm gonna yeah, leave it in there. If it's working, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yep, yep. Sludgy there. You wanna use air tools for this? I don't care one bit. Let's use air tools. Tell me what you need. I got <laughs> I need a bigger socket. Hold up. It'll come right off now. Let's use your fingers. I got two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're kind of beefy, aren't they? My bad. She'll be fine, won't she? See the difference in the hole? This one's bigger. This is a newer model. It's smaller. So I need you to get this with this size hole. Let's just see what kind of motor this is. What if it's a Chevy 302? <laughs> what do you think it is? 305. Casting number. So we just looked up the casting numbers for the block. It is... It's a 305 2-bolt, man. Yeah. I knew it. This thing's got 180 horsepower. Woo! Does this thermostat housing got to go or can I leave it on there, Texas? I'll leave it on there. So how many junky 305s have you owned now? Um, too many. They, they run okay, but they just, they smoke and they don't have any power. Are we talking about the same 305 here? I can't get grease in my cup. Uh -huh. Oh, that's badass too. I mean, who in the world don't want to cut fingers off their gloves? I don't got no sleeves. I don't have fingers in my gloves or anything. Ooh. All carboned up. Not bad. See some milky oil? What's... Uh, works better, doesn't it? Fifty dollars. No, no, no. Scrap price. 